Well, maybe they're going to have another hunt for Osama bin Laden. Maybe he wasn't killed and maybe he's swimming up on from the ocean and uh, you're going to have to hunt him again, right, Putin? <laughs> you know, these stories out of the, uh, they're not fake stories. It's just that when you're putting two to two together, you've got to be thinking, oh, there's no conspiracy. Yeah, nothing's wrong. Holy shit. Well, this is kind of old news, but uh, it's not that old. I think it was uh, back in December. It was the commander of SEAL Team 4, the one that found Osama bin Laden, the commander, right? He committed suicide. You know? And, you know, of course, about the SEAL Team that all died in a helicopter crash. That's another one, right? You know? Then, of course, I don't know, maybe you don't know this one. I forgot when it happened exactly, but it was during, it was the commander of NORAD. Door 911, you know, 9 11 2001, the commander of NORAD, NORAD, which was told to stand down. Uh, him and his wife died in a train crash, train wreck in DC metro area or something like that. So, <laughs> you know, I had a little story out there before about, uh, you know, I was wondering why, <laughs> wondering why the Hell's Angels is, uh, bestowed the honor of uh, Hell's Angels on Joe Biden after uh, they had the Benghazi deal. But, you know, the, the Benghazi actually happened the day after they did that, which was interesting. But, you know, I started thinking, you know, if they had 535 members of Congress just replaced with 535 Hell's Angels, the government would be 81 times better, right? That's how I look at it. So, maybe that's a solution. Because, man, this is a bunch of bullshit, what's going on over here, man. These guys, I mean, it's like, they've been chasing Osama bin Laden for all that time. You know, from what from what I uh, saw, and uh, from, I think it was a Pakistani general said, it was in December of 2001, or this January of 20, 2011, you know, like, you know, just some months after the 911 bombing, that Osama bin Laden died. And uh, he was without his dialysis machine in a cave, and I think he got blown up by an airstrike. So they basically, you know, and they buried this guy out to sea. I mean, it's like, how stupid do they think the average person really is, you know? How stupid do they think that it really is? And it's like, if there's no honor and truth, what the hell good is anything, right? These guys are wrecking everything. So, I don't know. I guess if there's only honor and truth, it's going to have to be in something that's considered the outlaws, right? Hell's Angels, if, our, if the Hell's Angels are in a re replace the whole Congress, 535 seats, all of them, I don't give a shit, good, bad, whoever, you know, Ron Paul, the whole deal, right? The government's going to get 81 times better. That's how I look at it. I think it's a good idea. I don't know. This is a bunch of, this stuff is a bunch of bullshit, man, and, uh, Actually, what it comes down to is most Americans don't give a fuck. They don't. They don't give a shit. You told this to some bitch, she'd be like, What's for lunch? And eh, it's boring. <laughs> it's all I give a shit about. This is about, you know, the whole country. So, and, uh, you know, it's a bunch of lying bastards that we backstabbing weasels that we got on the top of the government. None of them can be trusted. And actually, I think even a lot of the conservatives out there that say like they're all for the Constitution, I think they're just playing an act. The only way you really know is if uh, something goes down and they back you up. Well, we know Obama ain't going to back nobody up. Look what happened to Christopher Stevens, you know, an American from California. He left him to hang out to dry, right? Kill, got him killed, right? Told him to stand down. So it's time to get rid of the weasels. And not compromise with him at all. Not even discuss it. Just whenever you get the opportunity, screw him up. 